What's up, y'all? This your girl, Goma, coming at y'all from the kitchen. And today we're gonna be making some breakfast burritos. Yeah, breakfast burritos. I'm, I'm trying some new, okay? Um, I already got my pan. Oh, look, look. I'm, I'm just jumping all into it. Look, if you're interested in looking at me, watching me make some breakfast burritos, then stay tuned. I'm gonna put the camera over there. Okay, okay y'all, so I got my skillet heating up already. Spray it with my little cooking spray. I got seven eggs in this thing here. I'm going to stir my eggs up. I tried to prepare this video a little bit for y'all this time, so y'all won't have to sit and watch me for 30 minutes. Unless y'all like to, you know, hey, let me know. Um, put a little salt in here, in these eggs. And a little parsley for the decorations. Hey. And some garlic powder. I gotta have garlic powder on everything. Now, I just got this love for garlic powder that, you know, just make everything taste so good. And, um, so now my skillet already heating up. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is put the rest of my sausage in my skillet. Come on out now. Now, it look a little warm because I thawed it out in the microwave, um, for like a minute. So I'm just kind of just there you go, pouring it out, pouring it out of the pan that it was in, and uh, no, pouring it out in the packet. Well, I'm talking about the pan that it was in. Pouring it out, putting it in the skillet. Going to somewhere in the middle, kind of frozen a little bit. I'm just gonna let that thaw out in the pan. It'll be it'll be good in a few minutes, and I'm just gonna mash it around in there. Okay, how about that? See, I got sausage stuck in between the thing. Let's start with me today. Okay, so. Got my sausage in here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, uh, the devil is a lot. You going right back in there. Yeah, don't worry about that. My stove clean already. Washed and everything else. Wash your hands. Wash everything before you start cooking, okay? Y'all already know that by now. Okay. So, we got that in the skillet cooking. I'm going, this sausage is already seasoned. Now, this is the Tennessee Pride hot sausage. Y'all probably can't read, but that's what it looked like right there, hot sausage. And I got that cooking. Ooh, take the sausage meat away from this stuff. No cross-contamination. Okay, so I'm going to let that cook. Now, when I get done cooking, I am going to, oh, let me turn that one over because that one needs to be stalled out of this bit. When I get done cooking, I'm going to, um, my next step is to cook my eggs now. Okay, so I already got everything prepped for y'all. I got my avocados right here. I got my spinach right there. I did break my spinach up a little bit. I got, um, red bell peppers and green bell peppers already cut up. Now, what I don't have is salsa. I don't have no salsa. I wanted some salsa, but is that how you say it, salsa? Yeah, you know, y'all know salsa. Um, so I wanted some salsa, but I don't have any. So we just gonna have to <laughs> make do with what we got, girl. So I got some hickory smoked barbecue sauce, and I also have some ranch dressing, and I also have some Duke's mayo maize. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise, <laughs> and I got some jalapeno slices. I don't know where I'm going with this. I got a little bit of butter. I don't know where I'm going with this, but in my head, I said, Oh, I'm gonna just make a couple of different ones because I don't know. Really, I ain't never made no burrito before, so I'm just gonna do, you know, I'm just gonna do stuff. So, my sausage is cooking right now. Uh oh, good and done. I'm gonna turn that over, turn my eye back up a little bit because. Y'all can't even see the sausage. Lord, let me put the camera back down on the sausage. Okay. So I got my sausage cooking. Flipping it over a few times. I'll make sure I chop it up so it'll be like in smaller pieces. I'm trying not to make big chunks. Now that that's cooking, I'm gonna put a little parsley on it. 
Just cause I feel like it. Just cause parsley make everything cute when you be cooking. Parsley is just like makeup for food. That's it. That's all it do. It just make your food look cute. Okay? Don't taste like nothing. At least not this part. It don't taste like nothing. I guess it, you might want to see it taste like a little grass or something. But yeah, that's about all I can tell you. Um, Cause I guess it's a herb. But anyways, it don't got no flavor to me. Just a little grass on your food to make it look like you put some seasoning on it. Even when you didn't, girl. <laughs> I'm going to put a little garlic powder in here, too. I can't, like, just garlic powder. Anyway, a Walmart kind, Dollar Tree kind, it all tastes the same. It's just some fake garlic powder. Put it on there, but it tastes good. Put it on there and give your food a little, little bit more flavor. It amps up the flavor in all your food. Not some of it, all of it, okay? So now that my sausage is pretty much done, I'm going to let it cook a little bit more just to make sure I ain't got no little type of pink or red up in there. And then, I'm going to go to the next step, which will be putting in my peppers and my, um, putting in my peppers. Yeah, putting in my peppers. Okay, y'all, so my sausage is done like I want, want it to be. So, I'm going to put the bell peppers in here. I got the green bell pepper and the red bell pepper. I'm just going to rake it off my cutting board and put it in there. Put that one back in there, too. It down a little bit. Let that come. Let that cook for a little bit. Ooh, look how pretty it looks. Okay. Let that cook for a minute. Then, once that cook for a minute, I'm going to get the spinach and dump the spinach in now. Actually, I'm going to put the avocado in that first. I'm chopping up the avocado in pieces. The avocado for me is like a cheese substitute sometimes because I can't eat cheese. I'm lactose intolerant. Actually, I'm like allergic to dairy. So, I don't eat dairy at all. He don't like me and I don't like it. So we're going to chop up, put a little bit of avocado in there. I'm on keeping the rest of them because I like to eat them with, with my meal, you know. So this is going to make it uh, a little bit creamy. Not creamy like cheese would. It ain't going to be cheesy. It's going to have a little bit of, a little tiny bit of creaminess to it. So now my stove is practically, it's on, it's on real low now real low. So now that the avocado is all up in there, I got the spinach. I already rinsed it off. I broke it up. I ain't break it up real small, but I rinsed it off and I broke it up so I can, um, like, see, I didn't break that one up. It's going to wither away anyway, so you ain't got to be extra like me and break it up. So, but I'm going to put that in there. Stir it in. It's going to start to shrink up, and that's what that's when you know it's about ready. When the spinach starts to shrivel up. That's what spinach do when it get cooked. It shrivels up. I don't want it to shrivel up completely because it, it'll shrivel up, you know, to the point where you can't even tell it's spinach. It'll just look like some parsley in there. But I still want it to be like big pieces of spinach in there. Yeah, that look. So now what I'm going to do, I'm done. I'm going to turn that eye off so it'll quit cooking as much. And then I'm going to cook my eggs. I think I'm going to need another pan, y'all, because this, um, I got a lot of eggs. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to actually leave that. Actually, no, I'm not going to leave that because I, I cook my eggs better in this pan. This is my egg pan here. So what I'm going to do is get another pan. Get my old ratchet, old fake. Old ratchet, old fake for pan. Old ratchet, old fake. Don't talk about my pan. Nah. I don't use this pan since I was cooking on YouTube years ago with this same pan. I know it doesn't scrape all the stuff off the head. 
Uh, I got to use what I got now, y'all. Come for me about my pan now. If you want me to cook in a better pan, go ahead and buy me one, child. Okay, so I'm going to put these. I just rinsed my pan out, so I'm going to put this. I like to look at my stuff. Make sure it look clean and decent for me to add. Because uh, sometimes my children wash dishes, and I don't appreciate that. Okay, so I rinsed out my pan. So now I'm going to put these. I'm going to transfer this to over there. That's all I'm going to do. I just need to hold it there right quick for me real real quick. Like, I don't know why I did it that way. Y'all ain't see me do nothing though. Okay, so it's in there. So now I got this pan. I'm going to cook my eggs in this pan. Now, I'm going to rinse this out because I don't want my eggs to stick. Well, it probably wouldn't matter because um, I'm going to mix it all together anyway. But I want a clean pan for my eggs because it's stickless when you do it in a clean pan. Okay. There go for my eggs. Leave that back there and I'm going to turn this back up. Spray this again. I'm using Crisco canola oil, 100% canola oil in my, for my spray. I'm going to let this heat up so I can throw my eggs in there um, and then I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so I put a little butter in my pan for some flavor purposes, so my eggs be a little buttery or whatnot. And uh, it was just one little, a half a tablespoon, and I just spread it around, but that's mostly canola oil in there. And I'm going to add my eggs. And these eggs are going to be scrambled, so I can cook these on high. As long as I'm standing here watching them, then they're going to be just fine. But they actually not even on high. They just close to high. They ain't in the oven. The stove ain't got that hot yet. So, there go my eggs. Now, rinse this egg thing out. So, you clean as you cook. Cook as you clean. And you got to have a very bad mess. A whole big mess through the kitchen. When it's time to clean up. Okay? So, get that little stir. gonna be a whole lot so it really ain't it really ain't that much so I could put them back over there that's why I had got that pan out but it ain't really that much as I thought but hey it's still good okay I'm gonna let my ears cook I got a little that on here, but it's all right because it's gonna mix together anyway. Point. If you want to add cheese, go ahead, feel free, add you some cheese. But y'all already know what time it is. Ain't no cheese. Ain't no cheese. So I'm going to put this back in now. Turn the stove off. Lord, I can't hurt my hands. This is every pot. That's why I'm cooking with this joker. See y'all, my hands starting to hurt already. Turn the stove off. Then I'm just gonna stir it because that's it. I guess I could lift in the other pan, y'all. And the other pan too heavy for my hands. But way too much. I'm gonna just take my time and stir these eggs in here. I moved it off this eye because it's eye hot right here and eggs still cook, you know, even if the stove off. As long as that eye hot, the eggs will still um, cook too fast. So, I ain't want to do all that. So, I'm pretty much done with this part. And all you got to do now is stuff them, girl. Uh-oh. Get that off of Okay. Oh, wait 
wait a minute. I lost. Mm mm. There's a little line. I didn't throw that in the trash. Okay. So that's done right there. I got everything mixed together. So now all I got to do is prepare the burritos. The tortilla. Tortilla shells. Okay. Okay. I'm going to move it back because it's still like it's trying to cook. So. I'm going to put my pan right here. It's just a pan. It ain't going to burn up. So I got my flour tortilla. Tor How you say that, y'all? Tortilla. Torti torti yeah. I got these in shells right here for the burritos. And I'm just going to, I already sprayed this pan. I'm just going to lay them out. I'm going to lay them out that way. I don't know how many it's going to make. I was supposed to be just making stuff for myself, but, um... No, that's not the case. So, I'm going to rinse me out a spoon. And I'm going to say it'll make six. I'm going to make six. So, song for me today and song for me tomorrow. How about that? Or uh, later on. That's a lot. Anyway, I'm going to put random stuff on it at random times here. Let me um zoom out a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing okay anyway. so so I got everything in here ready I'm just gonna randomly put stuff on it I don't know what it's gonna taste like y'all because I will normally put salsa or something but this is hickory smoked barbecue sauce and I'm just gonna place that on there Some gonna be different, some gonna be the same. I don't know. I'm just doing something, going for what I know. Okay, and then I got a ranch for some. Ranch for this. I want me some salsa, but ain't no salsa in the refrigerator. So the next one I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a little mayo to these other two. Oh, I got a little ranch on it, but it's all good. It's all good. I got a little ranch on that one. Put a little mayo on this and swirl it around a little bit. Okay. Ooh, that might be a lot. to do I got leftover avocados that I didn't cut up and put the um, eggs and stuff in so I'm just gonna lay probably one right in the middle of each one each one getting the avocado because y'all already know that's how I, that's how I roll and put one there it's all good okay so now I'm done with that Wash my hands, okay? Wash my hands, and then here come the good part. It's already. Mm. 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 Oh, I might can make more than six. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Shucks. Okay. And put a little, put a spoonful in there. Spoonful in there. This is a lot, y'all. I should have got them big burrito shells. That's what I should have got. I know this would be better with a lot of y'all with cheese, but y'all have to um, do y'all y'all way and I do mine my, my way because I don't eat cheese. And this for me. All of these. And guess what you can do with these, y'all? I think. I don't know. I'm just saying. You might can. <laughs> Wrap them up and freeze them. Just like they sell them at the store and freeze them for later. I think. I would assume you can because then you just meal prep. We meal prepping y'all, hey. We meal prepping, we might be. Okay, so I don't have no surefire way to hit, hold this in together. Because in my brain, I thought it was just going to uh, magically do it, but apparently these are smaller than what I thought. But either way, they're going to get eight. Okay? 
I wish I had a toothpick or something that I could just like stick in there and hold on, hold it down, but I ain't got no toothpicks. So what I'm gonna do is I got this, I got a little bit of mail and I can use the mail like glue, y'all. Hold it together. Okay, that worked. That worked. <laughs> Y'all, we cooking together this time. Oh, this little ranch on there. I'm put it up here. So maybe that'll work for that. Hold that one down. Okay. Girl, I ain't gonna know which one is what until I bite into it. Because I ain't marked no, I ain't put no special label on them or nothing. It's alright. It's alright. Now, I know topping this with cheese would have just like sealed the deal. Putting a little salsa on them or whatever, but I might I might leave that one over there and put some cheese on them for other folk. I don't want to share though. I don't want to share. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. So I got that one. I don't know what's what. I don't know. When I eat them, all this stuff probably gonna fall everywhere, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Y'all stay tuned to my channel. I will be mukbanging this meal. Oh, oh, that barbecue sauce was kind of, mm, okay. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make some more. I'm gonna make some more and see how many we can make out of this. And that's it, y'all. Now, if y'all want to go the extra mile, y'all can add some more avocados on top. Sprinkle y'all some cheese on top, sprinkle some salsa on top, and do all of that extra fancy stuff. Um, but for right now, I think I'm going to let these sit. I think I'm going to put them in the oven. I don't know, y'all. But, mm. Anyways, that's it, y'all. Y'all see how they came out? Let me look. Let me look. See what y'all looking at. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. I think I need, what I'm, I think I'm going to have to dip them in something. I put some more something with them. I like when I eat these, I'm gonna have some sauce with them because you know you don't want to put too much on them because you never know how it's gonna taste. So at the end, if you need some extra um, dipping sauce or something like that, you can add it on. You know, as you're tasting and season it to your liking. With as far as the sauces are concerned. Okay, y'all. Now, if y'all stay tuned to my channel, I'll be doing a mukbang on these. Not all of them, girl. On these. Let me see. This is how they look up close. Now, y'all stay tuned to my channel because I will be doing a mukbang on these and letting you guys know how they came out and what they taste like. So, stay tuned to my next video because it's going to be this and a mukbang, okay? Y'all, thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching my cooking video. And that's all I got to say. <laughs> Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching, and that's all I got to say in this video, and I will holler at y'all later. Bye! Okay, y'all, so I figured I'd come back to show you guys how I'm going to plate this. I'm just going to plate that, just like that. Um, sprinkle a little parsley on top, make it look like I did some, you know? You always got to put parsley on your food just because. <laughs> just because you watch enough Instagram and Facebook, you see all that green stuff sprinkled across people's plates and, and just make it look good. So there you go. Bam. That's my meal. And I can also sprinkle some jalapenos across the top if I wanted to. And I actually got some over here. I just, I'm going to just use my hands and put some across there like that. Because I probably ain't going to eat a jalapeno with every bite. But I am going to have me some jalapenos. But that's just for decoration, y'all. Y'all ain't got to do this. Y'all can put cheese on top of y'all. Y'all can put uh, salsa on top. But I don't got no salsa. Because if I did, that's what it would be going right across the top. Some salsa. And I'm not going to go to no store to get no salsa just to make these some things. You know, okay? So, that is it, y'all. Stay tuned to my next video. And I will be doing a mukbang eating this good meal here. Hopefully it's good. I'll let you know. Stay tuned. Um, so that's all. Oh, let me show you the other one. I gave my husband two. 
which is right here on this plate. I got two for my husband. And these other, these, I got four more right here that I'm going to um, wrap these up in this foil and I'm going to freeze them for tomorrow's breakfast. So I'm already set for tomorrow. And then I got two right here that I'm going to give to Scooby. I'm going to put them on the plate and Scooby going to eat those. So that's it. I'm going to eat my breakfast today. And um, stay tuned to my next video and I'll holla at y'all later. Bye.